Hello YouTubers, and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to talk about the Young Dracula DVD releases. What a riveting subject, eh? And also which ones I'd recommend and which ones I wouldn't recommend. Now it is worth pointing out before I get into this whole video, all of the Young Dracula DVDs and also Blu-ray are all discontinued no matter what region you are in. So yeah, unfortunately you're going to have to pick all of these up secondhand or last stock remaining work which generally means a heavily inflated price if you want any of these. So despite being a UK show, Young Dracula only got one DVD release in the UK, which is Series 1, which included all 14 episodes of Series 1, but no special features, no audio commentaries or anything like that, just the episodes themselves, which is typical for a CBBC show being released on DVD. And while this one is, as I said, as all the others are out of print, it is easily the cheapest out of all of them. Them. Australia and the US got series 1 to 5 all on DVD, with the US also getting series 5 on Blu-ray as well, however there is a big difference between the US releases and the Australian releases, so let's go through the Australian releases. The Australian releases released all 5 series on DVD, and while again there may be no special features, the quality is pretty much just exactly the same as what a UK DVD of it would be since it is still in PAL. Now as for the US, this is where it gets interesting. Now the only US releases I actually own are the Series 2 DVD and the Series 5 Blu-ray. And the US DVDs, I would avoid them like the plague. At least Series 2, I'm not sure about the others since I don't own them, but I'm guessing the issues that plague this will also plague them. So as I said, these are NTSC conversions as opposed to being PAL. Which for those who don't know, when you convert PAL to NTSC, you're effectively slowing down the video so it matches the frame rate, and also you're decreasing the resolution slightly. This is generally though not really noticeable apart from the opening and closing theme where you can hear that the music is at a slightly lower pitch than it normally is. Now the main issue I've got with them is the audio seems to be really compressed on the US DVDs, giving them a muffled and almost metallic sounding edge to them. Stop shooting <laughs> Having prepared your blood mixture, carefully lay out the tables, then gently ease in the power. Stop shooting, Renfield. Immediately, Master! Having prepared your blood mixture, carefully lay out the tables, then gently ease in the power. Also worth noting on the US DVDs, they are all DVD-Rs, or burnt DVDs. This isn't the case with the UK DVD and also all of the Australian ones which are proper pressed discs from a glass master. The problem with burnt DVDs is that they can eventually become unreadable over time, and believe me, I do speak from experience. Now let's finally get into the US Blu-ray for Series 5. Again, like the DVDs, it is a burnt Blu-ray disc, with all 13 episodes being on the one disc. However, thankfully this doesn't suffer the audio issues that the DVDs suffered, though again, I can only speak for Series 2 in that regard. There is, however, at least with my copy, one error, that episodes 4 and 5 are in the wrong order, and are also given the wrong titles on the Blu-ray menu. And as stated before, these are the NTSC conversions, so they are running slightly slower. Though one day I will probably rip this Blu-ray again and do a NTSC back to PAL conversion to get it back to its true speed. So overall, which ones would I recommend? Now, obviously if you're not bothered about having physical copies, currently if you live in the UK, all five series are currently on BBC iPlayer. Though I would never recommend relying on any sort of streaming service, since as we've all learned they can be pulled in an instant. In terms of physical releases, well that Series 1 DVD in the UK again is your cheapest and easiest bet. For Series 2 through 4, get the Australian DVD releases 
and then for Series 5, well, you might be happy enough with the Australian version, which, yeah, is proper PAL, so it won't be running slowly. I'm actually okay with uh, the US Blu-ray. The slightly slowness really isn't noticeable, apart from a couple of music cues in the intro and the outro, and the issue with episodes 4 and 5 being in the wrong order is easily solved by selecting episode 5 first in the Blu-ray menu and then episode 4 to watch them in the correct order. Plus also, the Blu-ray is far cheaper, at least at the time of recording this anyway. Though again, it does have the issue of being a burnt disc, so who knows how long it'll actually last. I've had mine for several years now and it still plays and works perfectly fine. But anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know if you'd like me to ever do a full sort of retrospective review on Young Dracula. And uh, yeah, there we go. Also, just to mention quickly at the end, how come the Australian and the US DVD releases have Young in this really weird font? Yet yeah, Dracula is in the correct font of the logo. I really don't know why this wasn't an issue on the UK DVD, but this seems to be the case on the Australian and US DVDs. Nothing really to say about it, it's just I thought it was a weird thing.